by unpacking and unrolling your FastCat. At the front end, remove the four air valve caps that are attached by tethers. Turn them to the left and lift them out. Push the center valve stems down and quarter turn them to the left so that they spring into the up position. Locate your manual hand SUP pump and let's review some of its features. The pump has a pressure gauge on the top center of the handle. The hashes and the numbers along the outside display bars and on the inside PSI. There is also a lever near the top to select single or double action. The pump comes with two hoses. One is a hook and style recessed valve adapter that attaches to your recessed air valves. The other has a cluster of three adapters, one of which is a wide mouth adapter that fits nicely into your Boston style valves. To inflate your Sea Eagle, locate your manual hand SUP pump and screw on the hose with the hook and style recessed valve adapter. The adapter side has a rubber gasket on it, so be sure that the groove side of the gasket is facing out. If it's not, simply flip the gasket over and make sure that the groove side is facing out. Then attach it to your recessed air valve by pushing it in, turning it to the right until the hooks lock into place. Start by selecting the double action. This inflates during both the up and down strokes. When it gets hard to pump, switch over to single action, which makes it even easier by only inflating during the down strokes and using your body weight as leverage. Inflate all chambers to 10 to 15 PSI. Sea Eagle offers a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. The BTP two-stage pump works best with the Sea Eagle Fish Skiff 16, travel canoe, sports runabout boats, and other large inflatable hulls. To begin, screw the pump hose onto the red inflation port of the pump. On the opposite end of the hose, you'll want to use what's called the hook and style recessed valve adapter with rubber gasket. Now, if it's not already attached, locate the adapter and twist it on. Then press it against a firm surface to fully seat it. Make sure that the groove side of the rubber gasket is facing outward. If it's not, simply flip it over so that the groove side is facing out. Now, through the center pocket, you can connect the pump to the optional battery, which also comes with a wall charger. When charging the battery, the LED light on the charger itself will be red. When it's fully charged, it will shut off or turn green. Or you can connect the pump to the alligator clips and then to a battery source. Set the pump dial to the desired PSI setting. The black numbers and hashes on the outside measure bars, and the red number and hashes on the inside measure PSI. Now never turn the pump dial while the pump is actually running, as this could damage your Sea Eagle pump. Attach the pump hose to your recessed air valve by pushing it in and turning it to the right until the hooks lock into place. Then press the on button and your hands free. The pump will automatically shut off once a desired PSI setting has been reached. Remember to only use Sea Eagle recommended pumps as they have been thoroughly tested for use with Sea Eagle products. Never ever use an air compressor as they can easily damage your Sea Eagle and possibly cause you bodily harm. Non-recommended pumps may also void your Sea Eagle warranty. Remember to replace the valve caps. Now you're ready to install the transom. Locate the four hex head bolts, eight washers, and four null knobs included in your kit. You'll also want to have your half inch wrench or pliers ready. The transom plate with the ring should be facing forward. Insert the transom board into the transom grommets. If it's a tight fit, use your screwdriver to gently pry the grommets apart a little. Starting with the floor. Insert a bolt with a washer through the rear of a grommet, through the transom, and out the front grommet. Slide on a washer and securely tighten with a null knob. You may want to use your half inch wrench to hold the head of the bolt. Repeat this step with the remaining grommets. Attach in your quick release mounts to the easy attach aluminum benches as a one time assembly. Once attached, you don't have to remove them. Locate your quick release seat mount, easy attach aluminum cross benches, and associated hardware included in your kit. You should have four one and quarter inch fill flat bolts, four one inch flat washers, and four seven sixteenth nylon nuts. You'll also need your Phillips head screwdriver and seven sixteenth wrench or pliers. With the quick release lever facing one edge of the aluminum cross bench, 
place it over the four holes on the aluminum cross bench. Take the four bolts and insert them through the quick release seat mount from the top down. Now tilt the aluminum cross bench back to be sure that the bolt slid through the four pre-drilled holes. Slide a washer onto the bolt, then screw on a nylon nut. Repeat this step with the remaining hardware and securely tighten each nut. Now it's time to easy attach your aluminum cross benches to your FastCat. Let's start with the rear cross bench. Locate the four Phillips truss head bolts, four washers, and four knurled knobs included in your kit. Start on either side chamber. Position the easy attach D-rings inward and towards each other. Slide a washer onto one of the bolts, then slide the bolt up through one of the D-rings. Repeat this step with the remaining bolt, washer, and D-ring. Place a cross bench on top, making sure the bolts slide through the pre-drilled holes of the aluminum bench, and securely tighten each bolt with a knurl knob. Repeat these steps with the remaining end and with the front cross bench. Then slide and lock your swivel seats into place. Always check to make sure the seats are secured. To swivel the seat, pull the locking bar forward to free the seat. Push the bar back to lock it in place. To remove the swivel seats, push the seat back, lift up on the seat release lever, and slide the seat forward and out. To reattach it, just slide it back in and lock it into place. Now let's review some of the optional additional accessories offered at SeaEagle.com. There are two Scotty pads at the rear of the FastCat 12, one on each side. To attach an optional Scotty Universal deck mount to a pre-installed pad, use four 7-8 stainless steel field cap screws located in your kit. If you can't locate them, be sure to check your orange repair kit. Only use the proper hardware, as using incorrect screws may damage your Sea Eagle and possibly void your Sea Eagle warranty. With the arrow on the deck mount pointing inboard, use a Phillips head screwdriver to securely tighten the screws. Repeat these steps with the remaining Scotty pad on the opposite side. The Scotty Universal deck mounts can be used to attach a vast array of optional Scotty brand accessories, such as rod holders, triple rod holders, anchor locks, camera mounting post, and more. Both aluminum cross benches have been pre-drilled with four holes on each end to accept optional Scotty Universal deck mounts. To attach the deck mounts, locate four one-inch Phillips truss head screws located in your kit. Be sure the arrow on the deck mount is pointing inward. With the number two Phillips head screwdriver, securely tighten the screws. Then attach your Scotty brand accessory of choice. If you have the Watersnake Advance brushless 70 electric motor and or the Honda 5 horsepower 15 inch shaft gas motor, seat the motor onto the transom. Securely tighten the transom bolts and confirm the motor is secured in place. Protecting yourself against the elements is extremely important and the Sea Eagle canopy is a great option. Start by unpacking the contents of the canopy box which includes the canopy canvas, two U-frames, two scissor support bars with pre-attached adjustable straps, and the associated hardware. Unfold the canvas of your canopy and place it in front of you with the top of the canvas, the rough side facing up, and the smooth side facing down. Next, fold the ends towards the center and position it so that the center cutout is towards the front of your hull. Lay the U-frames on top of the canvas in line with their sleeves. You want to be sure that the pre-drilled holes of the front frame are facing up and the rear frame are facing down. Feed the front frame through the front sleeve. This is what it should look like with the holes facing up. Now repeat this step on the opposite side and this is what it should look like with the holes facing down. Now flip the rear end of the canopy over and connect your scissoring support bars. The shorter bar attaches to the front and they will easily snap together. Attach the remaining bar to the rear and repeat these steps on the opposite side. Now take your canopy over to your hull for attachment. With a short scissor bar and canvas cutout facing up, line the ends of the canopy up with the canopy mounts on the fast cat. Insert your 35 millimeter screw and secure it with the plastic screw on knob included in your kit. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver to help tighten the bolt if needed. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Attach the left rear canopy strap to the left rear D-ring and the right rear canopy strap to the right rear D-ring. Grab the left front canopy strap and walk it towards the front of your FastCat. Attach it to the corresponding D-ring attachment point and repeat this step on the opposite side with the remaining front strap. Adjust the straps until the canopy is tight and correctly positioned. The Sea Eagle Inflatable Fast Cat 12 is an incredibly portable haul that will pack into most any vehicle and provide you with the smoothest ride on the water.
Packing up your fast cat is quick and easy. Remove the canopy, motor, Scotty accessories. Now the universal deck mounts can remain attached. Swivel seats, bench seats, and transom. At the front of your fast cat, lay out your boat bag face down and in line with your hull. Roll up the end flap closest to your boat and slide it close to the bow. Slide the bag towards the port or left side of your hull until the stern or right side edge of the center portion of the bag is in line with the center of your fast cat. Lift the front of your fast cat and walk it over the bag until the bow or front leading edge is in line with the far side of the bag's base where the flap meets. Remove the four air valve caps. Now be sure that your face is positioned away and not over the air valves. Push down on the center valve stem with your thumb and twist it a quarter turn to the right until it locks into the down, which is the open position. Repeat this step with the remaining valves. Walk down the center of your fast cat from bow to stern. While standing on the center line, grab the starboard carry handle and fold it over the port side handle. All the handles should line up. Push out any excess air from back to front. With your foot, make a crease between the rod holder base and the rear cross bench D-ring. Lift the back end of the boat so it folds in between the rod holder bases and the rear cross bench D-rings. Notice how four handles line up. Make your next crease at the end of your fold. Lifting with your legs, fold the last section onto the front and push out any remaining air. Pull in the side bag flaps and secure the bag with the straps by running the straps through both rings first, then back over the first, under the second, and tighten.